everybody, welcome back to another video. If you follow me on Instagram or you've been keeping up with my recent vlogs, I'm sure you've noticed that I've started doing this new painting style that I've been really keeping up with and I've really, really been having a good time with it. So a lot of you have responded and asked for like tutorials or me to just do a video dedicated to that new style I've been doing. So here it is. Before we get into the video, I am happy to announce that I have a sponsor for this video. Skillshare has graciously agreed to sponsor another video of mine. I'm here to tell you a little bit about them. It's an online platform that has thousands of videos um, classes that you can just take whenever it fits your schedule and learn something new. A lot of the classes are very creative classes like photography, writing, art, painting, drawing, all that type of stuff. And you can engage with the classes, turn in assignments and see things that other people in the class have done. Each video in the class is pretty short, pretty manageable to watch. And the ones that I've watched, they can be anywhere from two minutes to like 10 minutes really easy to digest the whole thing but one of the other good parts about Skillshare is the price guys I am a college student I understand the struggle of not wanting to pay a ton of money and the good news about Skillshare is that it is under $10 per month for an annual membership which is a super great deal because again you have access to thousands of classes you can watch them anytime you want check them out i will leave you guys with a quick class suggestion since this video is a painting video and actually i painted outside for the first part of the video i'm going to suggest a watercoloring class i actually used oil paint because obviously this is an oil paint tutorial video however watercolor would be a whole lot easier and painting outside with oil paint is really hard so anyway if you want to learn a little bit more about watercolor there's this great class called botanical illustrations I think that's the name I'll link it below and it teaches you all about using watercolor to it's literally the name paint botanical illustrations so like painting nature and stuff watercolor is like one of the easiest ways to paint outside so if you're wanting to get outside and try plein air painting get into watercolor watch this class if it'll help you so I know you guys are all like okay Darcy shut up we just want to see the video but I think you're gonna want to hear this next part so real quick the first 500 people who click the link in the description will get two free months of Skillshare Premium. So go click it now and get a chance to explore the website and see what classes are available. Take as many classes as you want for two months. Um, first 500 people, go click that link. Okay, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> So I decided to take a quick spur of the moment drive and find a place to paint today. It's so nice outside today, so that's why I came out here. It's kind of close to sundown, we're about an hour away, so I'm going to have to make it really quick, but I'm going to do a little bit of oil painting out here, which I've never done like in plein air oil painting before because it's a little bit more involved to like mix the paint and everything, but we're going to try it today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into telling you guys what to do with oil paint. Once I've mixed all the colors that I think I'm gonna use for the painting, I start out with a brightly colored base layer. Often I use something like red, um, because this can really make the foreground stand out a lot, and it's just kind of fun to do that. It's fun to play around with color and see which colors uh, work the best together. I use a lot of color theory whenever I'm thinking of what colors to put in my painting, and so the next layer that I do is a basic outline of the shapes and I will often use a color that I know will stand out from the base layer. A complementary color of red is green. Complementary colors are basically the colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel and so they will always make the other color pop. But I chose blue in this one. It's not technically the complementary color of red. I just felt like the colors in the actual scenery that I was looking at were giving me a bit more of a blue vibe. I think once you get better at painting painting and looking for color in things, you'll start to notice that a lot of the things you see have certain color undertones to them. It just takes practice to do that. And then next, I just start blocking in the colors. One thing that I learned in painting class is to work from big to small. So I start out with a bigger paintbrush and with bigger strokes. I don't worry too much about staying in the lines or being super detailed. I just kind of block in the colors and then I'll do details later. Another quick tip when using oil paint is 
is to work from thin to thick. So the base layer that I started out with was pretty thin because I used a medium that we use, we actually use it to clean our brushes. It's called Gamsol. I mixed it with the paint so it just creates this very thin paint. But then throughout the rest of the painting, I use Galkid oil and it's a bit more of a thick medium. And just for your information, the company that I use is Gamblin because that's what was introduced to me in my painting classes. So I decided that I am going to pack up here because it's getting a little bit close to sundown and I don't really want to be out here in the dark um, besides just it being dark and obviously not being able to see while I paint. Um, there's cars as you can see coming behind me on this road. I don't think it's going to be very safe to be here after dark. I'm packing up but I did take a picture and I will finish the painting from that picture. So here in this section I'm using color theory again. Purple is the opposite color of yellow and there's going to be some yellow like uh, grain wheat type thing there eventually so I just put that as a background so that it could stand out in the foreground. So I've come to a pretty good stopping place. The canvas is covered in all of these like block base colors and it's ready for another layer but i'm just gonna let it dry first so that i don't get muddy colors whenever i put the new layer on um, and i will continue painting it tomorrow it's time to add more details now that I've let it dry and all the colors are there all the base colors are there then I go back and I add some more outlines I'm just trying to get more red in there so that I can put more colors over the red and they will be able to pop out a little bit again red is a good opposite color of green so especially for the bush it'll help that just be a little bit darker because when you mix complementary colors together you basically just get a complete dark muddy color so that's what happens when you mix them together and that's why I'm using that for that dark bush there really quickly emphasize how important it is to give your oil painting time work with it be patient let it dry in between layers so that the colors won't be muddy take a step away from it for a day or so or even longer and then you can come back and kind of see with a clear vision of what things you want to add and change So this is the final painting. I think I'm going to do more videos like this showing you my oil painting style because it can really change depending on what you're painting. So I'm going to oil this out and varnish it, which I'm not going to show in this in this video because I'm actually kind of running out of time. But if you want to know how to do that, I can link some good YouTube videos below showing you how to finish up your oil paintings. This one is a commission, so I am going to do that quickly and then send it out to the person who ordered it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up with me with all my new paintings and everything like that, at, go check out my Instagram, that one artist. And if you're new to my channel and you would like to see more videos like these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will be back next time with another art video for you all. Bye!
Before I let you guys go, I just wanted to show you my newest sticker collection and let you guys know that they are indeed up for sale. The link is in the description. Um, go check them out, guys. I'm really excited about this collection. I call it the artist's hands because, you know, they're hands and they're my hands and I'm the artist. So anyways, anyways. Okay, bye guys.